Any parent of young children knows how difficult airplane travel can be. The pointed looks from other passengers when your infant is less than an angel is just the beginning. Here with some tips on making that plane ride as smooth as possible is Market Watch's Katie Hill. Hi, Katie. Great to see you. Have you had to travel with your baby much yet? Oh, yes. And this is the entire inspiration for this story was a horrible plane ride to the point she screamed so loud to the point when we were in baggage claim getting our bags, no one would even look me in the eye. It was like, it was epic. And so I was like, I'm writing a story about this. It I'm never it fails to amaze me how everybody blames the parent for what your child does. You sort of want to look at them and say, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm like, I'm doing everything I can. She's just having a meltdown. Oh, my gosh. My kids are a little bit older, so I'm a little bit more out of the woods. But I remember these days very well, Katie. So in your research, have you found that there are certain times that are better to travel with kids? Yes, yeah, so don't fly on a Monday. This is when the most delays and cancellations happen. And so absolutely avoid that if you can, because the longer you're in the airport, you know, and the longer that flight is delayed, the more chance there is for your complete kid having a complete and epic meltdown. Oh my gosh, and I guess you should avoid all the holidays too while avoid, you're at it. Yeah, avoid the holidays. And also, um, if you fly before 8 a.m. or after 6 p.m., there's fewer delays at, in those points too. Mm -hmm. However, the before 8 a.m. is when a lot of business travelers are on the plane and they often don't love those kids, no. so you got to weigh that option. You got it. Absolutely. Now, does the airline you fly make a difference? It does make a difference. Mm -hmm. Certain airlines are a lot more family friendly. Virgin Atlantic has cots for babies. Emirates Air gives you complimentary strollers. A lot, there's a lot of different um, variation here. I right. usually go on the airline's website. If they have a whole section about your family and what they do for you, that's usually a good sign that they're going to be very accommodating to right. kids. Right, if they mention kids on the website, <laughs> they that's don't. a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. What about the, the seats that you pick? Does that matter at all? Yeah, if you um, if you can book early and get the bulkhead seats, mm -hmm. because there's room for your kids to kind of crawl and move around there, because you can't block the aisle, everyone will right. freak out. So right. that is a really good option. You often can't get those, but if you can, that's a way to go. If you book early enough yeah, you can ahead. Now, any time. tips about getting through security quickly? Because that can be a real pain. TSA pre-check <laughs> is the way to go. If you and your spouse or whoever, just you have it, kids under 12 can go through for free. So while you'll pay $85 for TSA pre-check, your kids under 12 can go through for free, and that just gets you through a lot faster. So good. Now, you do have a checklist of things that you should not leave home without. Yeah. I agree with a lot of these. Yeah. I mean, most of the stuff, right, you, you know to bring the extra change of clothes and the diapers and all that. The one thing that people forget that they should bring motion sickness medicine for the kids. Sorry, this is gross, but a barf bag, Febreze, and paper towels. Because most parents I know have had their kids get a little bit sick on an airplane when there's turbulence. And then there's a mess, and everyone's really oh angry my at you gosh. for that. No. So, so a barf that. bag with a Ziploc, yeah, right? You could literally just bring a freezer bag. <laughs> oh, it's so gross, my goodness. but it's a good advice. What about things like a, a, you know, a little gift that they can unwrap at yeah. some points in the trip? This is a tip from a mom who has flown thousands of miles with her kids. She's braver than I. But anyway, <laughs> she says if, for every hour of the flight for a little kid, um, bring a wrapped toy, a wrapped new toy, and then hand it to the kid. Let them unwrap it, play with it for an hour or so, and then the next hour bring another one, and the next hour bring another one because the little ones are often too little to look at an iPad for the whole time so you gotta gotta get some backup in there gotta start the older kids this is no time for the restrictions on screen time I know what parents are gonna get mad at me but if you no. you know <laughs> on the plane Without give them the iPad, iPad. <laughs> movie after movie yes. video game after video yes. game whatever it takes let it go <laughs> all, right. all bets are off yeah, all bets are off <laughs> Katie Hill thank you so thank much you. for that